the i3D Smart Imaging System Panorama Image Capture. The objectives are to capture a panorama image through the following steps. Navigation of the EZNI software, navigation of the Smart Capture software, position of patient for image capture, selecting the image capture button, and then saving our panorama image. In this video tutorial, we're going to go through the steps to capture our panorama image. In this case, we're going to start from the EZNI software by doing our patient search. So left clicking in the patient search window, we'll type in the last name of our patient. Hit enter, and we receive a prompt indicating the patient does not exist in our database yet. So from here, click on OK, and then click on the plus sign here next to our patient add button, and then enter in our patient information. Beginning with our chart number, we can either use the automatic generated number or enter in the custom number, such as one, two, three, four, five, six. Down below, enter in the name of our patient here, starting with our last name, Doe. Click over here, type in the first name of our patient. Specify a gender through the drop down list, and then choose our birthday, starting from month, day, and then the year the patient is born. You can also specify a doctor if there's more than one doctor in the practice. Other information can be added in as well. Otherwise, once the fields up here are populated, verify it's correct, and then click on Add here at the bottom. Now that we have our patient added to our database, we can now capture an image on James Doe. We'll click on the Acquisition tab here at the top of the screen, and then from here, choose our modality, whether it be CT, Panorama, or Cephalo. In this case here, we're going to do a Panorama. So we'll left click here on Panorama, and then from our capture software, choose our image type and other options along the right hand side of the screen. Beginning with our patient, we should verify or see the name of our patient listed along the left hand side of the screen. We then adjust our parameters as far as the x-ray exposure, which is done automatically here for male, female, or child, and then also choose based on body type, between hard, type body type, normal, or soft. In this case here, we could put a normal for a normal uh, body type here. And then start in the upper right hand corner, choose between HD or fast mode here. Choose our arch type between narrow, normal, as well as wide. In this case here, we'll do a normal uh, arch type here. And for patient 13 and under, you put it into a child mode, so that way it doesn't over rotate past the condyles and you don't crop off too much into the uh, eye orbit then as well. As far as our image type, we can then choose the standard here, do both right and left side of their arch. We can do just the right-hand side. We can also do the left-hand side, as well as do the fem uh, or central dentition itself. Okay. From there, once you've chosen our image types here, verify our exposure along the bottom left-hand side of the screen, verify all information is correct, and then click on Confirm to put the device into our capture mode. System is initializing. Please wait. When the progress bar is completed here, the lights will then illuminate then on our imaging system and we're ready to position our patient. Okay, so in our first example, what we're going to do is capture our panorama image with our smart imaging system itself. So we'll go ahead and have our patient come forward here and have the device set up a little bit higher here. So what I'd like you to do here, if you would, is place your hands at the bottom of the bar, palm facing towards the ceiling, please, and then take your feet so they slide forward to hit my feet and kind of line the right-hand side of your column. And if you would have your feet shoulder the shoulder width apart, create more stability for me as well. Thank you. And let's bring the machine down just a little bit here for you as well. And go ahead and open your arch for me, please, if you would, and put your chin on the chin rest. And bite down slowly with the teeth in the groove. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is then line up the mid satellite so it's going through the center of your face, in between the eyebrows here, and then filter mode above your upper lip right there. So once I have that center there, the next thing I wanna do then is line my Frankfurt light here. So I'm going to raise this here until I get to the top of the tragus. So I have at the top of the tragus right now, at the tip of your nose, which means your chin's too high. So I'm gonna bring the machine down a little bit here. So I'm bring it down here a bit, bring the head here, and bring the machine down. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my light here again. So I'm right here at the top of the tragus, and it's down maybe about half an inch down below your eyelid here. So go ahead and smile if you would, please. Okay, so a slight little inclination there, so it looks pretty good. Big smile again, I'm gonna see the canine light here, and I'm adjusting here to the center of the upper left canine tooth there as well, okay? So at this point in time, we're all set as far as image capture. Light through the middle of the patient's face, light over here at the top of the tragus to the oval rim. We have about a 10 degree angle of our occlusal, and the canine here is going through the center of the upper left canine tooth there itself, okay? 
from here, go ahead and close the temple rods here. Okay, and now put the device into our capture mode. The system mode. is moving into capturing position. Please wait. All right, so what I'd like you to do from this standpoint here is then swallow, place your entire tongue against the roof of your mouth, breathe slowly through your nose, close your eyes, and it's kind of a mental thing, go ahead and count to 30 in your mind. In the previous segment, you notice you can click on the ready button either on the device itself, or if you want to, you can also click on ready down here as well. By doing that, and then put the device into our capture mode as well. The system is moving into capturing position. Please wait. When the device is rotated into capture position, you would then provide those instructions, and then click on the button here to capture our image itself. After providing instructions for the patient, we also then see the green light is on and ready to capture our image. Press down the button with equal pressure the entire time for 18 seconds. When the light is illuminating in orange, that means the device is capturing our image and rotating around our patient. When the orange light turns off or when the green light turns back on again is when you can let go of the hand switch and the image capture is completed. We've captured our image successfully. Now we're ready to release our patient out of the device. As a cautionary note, it's good to make sure to instruct the patient or advise the patient not to try and exit out of the device until you come back in the room again, open the temper rods, and then you can exit out of the device itself. So we're done. Clicking the button here to open the temper rods, pull the device so the patient can exit, and we're done capturing our image. When the image capture is completed, the patient has been removed from the device, and now we're ready to save our image. Bottom right hand corner, there's an option here to click on save. We click on save here at the bottom, that unsave the image within our Easy to Eye imaging software itself. And that's it. In summary, you should now be able to identify the steps to capture a panorama image, including navigation of the Easy to Eye software, navigation of the Smart Capture software, position the patient for image capture, accessing the button for image capture itself, and then saving the panorama image.